This video is going to review how to find area and circumference of circles and then also find area of composite shapes. A composite shape is just a figure that's composed of more than one other simple basic shape. So we're going to do semicircles, rectangles, triangles, and circles. The first example says a railroad crossing sign has a diameter of 30 inches. Then they have an image of it. Which measurement is closest to the area of the sign in square inches? So I'm going to go over what are the important things in this. I know that the diameter is 30. And it says find the closest area of the circle. If you drew a diagram and you were to label the diameter, diameter goes all the way across and that's 30. Sometimes you need the radius, so I'm going to go ahead and label what the radius is. The radius only goes halfway across. That would be 15 then for this circle. Now I'm going to look down at the question and go back and focus on what it's actually asking me for. It says, what is the closest area? If you look at a math chart or if you just know in your own head, the formula for area of a circle, it's pi r squared. And sometimes people get confused with this exponent of 2. They think it means times by 2, but it means you have 2 of whatever the measurement of the radius is being multiplied together. Therefore, I'm going to multiply this out uh, or write it out the longer way. 3.14 times radius times radius. I'm going to take the example I have of the railroad crossing sign. The radius is 15. So 3.14 times 15 times 15. I already know 15 times 15 just from some of my doubles. 15 times 15 is 225. If you weren't sure what that is, then you would need to definitely work that out. I'm going to take a look at my answer choices now, and I'm going to say I know that I'm getting an answer bigger than 225 because I'm doing that times the number for pi. So if you look at these examples or the answer choices, A and B have to be wrong because they are not larger than 225. It does say in the question that you could pick whatever is the closest answer to the actual area. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to kind of estimate and I'm going to just do 225 times 3 because my two answer choices I have left over here are not anywhere similar to each other. One is 706 and the other one is 286. So if I just estimate and use the 3 on this, I'm going to get real close. And some of you might be able to tell right now, if you're going to do 3 times 200, it's definitely going to be the big one. So um, 5 times 3 is 15. 3 times 2 plus 1 is 7. And then 3 times 2 is 6. So I'm going to get something that is close to... 675. It is definitely going to be C because D was way too low. That was almost 225 just by itself. This example says the diagram below shows the radius of a circular opening of a drinking cup. Which of the following is the closest to the circumference of the opening in centimeters? Again, I'm going to start back with what's the important information. It says that the cup is going to be showing us the radius. And then it wants to know the closest measurement for the circumference. If I put my diagrams back up here, if I were to look at the top of this cup, it's telling me the radius right now 
is four. Sometimes, again, a circle, you need the diameter instead. So if the radius is four, I'm going to double it, and I'm going to say the diameter is eight. You come down to the question underneath the diagram, and it says circumference on a math chart. You have two ways to find circumference. You can either do pi times diameter, or to get circumference, you can do 2 times pi times radius. For me, I like to do as little work as possible, so I'm going to go with this one and just say pi times diameter. And when you look back up here, diameter went all the way across, and we had to do that ourselves. It was 8. So I'm going to be using this number 8 to solve my question right here. When I put my numbers in, 3.14 times 8. Okay, I already know the answer is going to be much greater than 8. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to cross off 8. It cannot be an answer choice. And I also know that 12 is too small as well. If I just estimate and say what's 3 times 8, that's going to be 24. And I'm going to get an answer that is... I'll erase that and put close to because that's what the word used in the um, question. I need something that's close to 24. 25 is going to be the best answer choice for the closest circumference of this cup. Last example. Let's scoot that over just a bit. Alrighty, Landon uses a semicircle, so that's this part, a rectangle in the middle, and a right triangle, which is over here, got the symbol, to form the figure shown. Which is the best estimate of the area of this figure in square centimeters? I've got three different shapes, a semicircle, a rectangle, and a triangle. And this wants me to do the best estimate of the area. I'm going to find all three pieces because it says I have three shapes up here. And I want to find the area of each one and then add them together. I'm going to try to shrink this so I can get some more space for my calculations. All right, here we go. The semicircle. It says that the whole distance is 4, and I already know that when I'm calculating a circle, I need the radius, so the radius is going to be 2. I'm going to be labeling up all my dimensions. The triangle, I know that this part is 4 because it matches up with the rectangle's other side. The part that I don't know is down here on the bottom. It doesn't give me the number. I know the whole thing is 10. When you look at the bottom of this, from here all the way down, that's supposed to be 10. Then when you look at the rectangle, this top portion is 6. So this part right here should also be 6. So if I were to label that, then 6 take away from 10, that gives me 4 which means this other part of my triangle that was missing was supposed to be 4. Alright, semicircle, I'm going to use 2. The area for a, goodness gracious, the area for a semicircle, same as a circle, but you divide by 2. So area of this, I'm going to do pi r squared, and then divide by 2. Okie dokie, 3.14 times 2 times 2, and then I'm going to divide by 2. If I keep going, I can do 2 times 2, that's 4, and then we have divide by 2. Um, I'm going to estimate this 
And I'm going to say these two together is pretty close to 12. 12 divided by 2, that's going to be 6. So for right now, I have 6, and I'm going to do the rectangle and the triangle. Okay, let me shrink this. And then the next shape that I'm going to do is going to be the rectangle. Rectangle should be super easy. My rectangle has the dimensions of 4 for the side and 6 for the top. So to find area of that, you just need to simply do length times width, 4 times 6, that is 24. Right now I have 6 plus 24, and then last I need to do the triangle. Measurements for the triangle were 4 and 4. To find the area of a triangle, you do base times height and divide by 2. And both numbers were 4. So base times height is 4 times 4, and then final step, divide by 2. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Now I've got the three numbers for the sections of this shape, and I need to put them together. 6 plus 8 plus 24. I'm going to make this a little... Nope, that's too small. I'll just do it on the side. All right, over here, if I need to get the total, 24 plus 8 plus 6, 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 6 more is 18, and then 1 plus 2 is 3. My total is going to be 38, letter D, best answer choice.